Good morning and welcome back to the KR Daily Transmission. This week, we are walking through some of the teachings from ISIS's Key Code 1 initiation in the Sophia Code. Oh, good morning. Um, and so yesterday, we worked with mantras um, that were reprogramming our perception of ourselves, the mercy of the divinity within you. Good morning. Hello. And today we're going to be exploring some of the mantras from page 87 of the Sophia Code. I love you too. Hi. <laughs> Bonjour. So we're reading from the Sophia Code today. This is the book that I channeled if you're new to our YouTube channel. And we're going to be reading from page 87. So to begin, before we read, let's take a moment to center in our hearts. Um, I'm going to just keep talking about your heart all year long because there's nothing more important than listening to your heart, loving your heart, following your heart, being true to your heart. And that journey of being loyal and true and loving to your own heart, it can take a whole lifetime. One of my most um, exceptional spiritual guides for learning how to both love my heart, but also lead from my heart, believe in my heart, value my heart. That's what Isis does for us. She really helps us step outside of programmed shame, um, programmed belief systems that would keep us separated from the throne of our own hearts. And so when the wings of Isis open up <laughs> in your consciousness and you start to work with her every day as a spiritual guide, which you can meet her in the Sophia Code in chapter six, this you, you begin this remarkable journey of self-mastery for how to love your own heart first. So welcome back to the KR Daily Transmission. For those of you who are joining live, it's so helpful when you like the video, add some comments in the chat, or if you're watching the video replay, it really shows your community support for these free teachings. And if you're ready, um, or to get ready, you can open the Sophia Code to page 87, have that open. And we're going to just center in our circle of sovereignty, our circle of empowerment, take a breath together, and then we'll begin. So I invite you to notice where, you're, where you are breathing into your body. Are you in your head? Are you in your throat? Are you in your heart or your belly? The more conscious you become of your breath, the more that you start to return to a parasympathetic relaxed state where the breath feels, well, not the breath, your consciousness feels safe to start to breathe into all of you. And Isis is such an incredible mentor for truly taking back the power of our body, reclaiming every cell of our body, activating that divine genome within every cell of your body is really a part of reclaiming your human form and filling it with the light of your divinity. And so let's breathe into every cell of your body this morning or evening, wherever you are in the world. Pam's writing in this. She's breathing into her belly. Good for you, Pam. You may feel your diaphragm softening with the breath. And if your mind wanders, that's okay. Just come back to the breath. You could even imagine the word in when you're breathing in and the word out when you're breathing out, that really helps me just keep it super simple. You don't have to judge your mind for any wandering when you breathe, when you meditate, you can just, okay, in, out, inhale, exhale. Keep it real simple. 
because the mind can want to make it really complicated. And as you breathe, soften, deepen into your breath, I welcome you to feel your heart expanding, expanding in your breath. The breath expanding your angel wings, unfurling out of the back of your heart chakra. If you've activated your angel wings with our activation series, you could visualize a wheel of emerald light or pink light at your heart center spiraling open. And I invite you to imagine this beautiful circle of light that it expands out about six feet outside of your body. And this circle of light transforms into a column of light and your body is within this column of light. And in, this, and, and in the eight directions of your circle, we invoke all the eight revealed key codes of the Sophia Code. We welcome white buffalo woman in the north, honor her presence here as a mentor and guide. We welcome beloved Isis, in the Northeast, Hathor in the East, Green Tara in the Southeast, Mary Magdalene in the Southwest, excuse me, Mother Mary in the South, Mary Magdalene in the Southwest, Kuan Yin in the West, and the Seraphim, the Sophia Dragons in the Northwest. And in the center of your circle of sovereignty, your circle of empowerment, we invite you to fill your body with your higher, the consciousness of your higher self, like a waterfall of light that's flowing down through that column of light flowing through your crown, waves of your own soul's light rolling down the back of your head, flowing down your shoulders, running down your arms, filling up your heart, this beautiful waterfall of light flowing into all of your earth chakras, flowing down your legs and reconnecting you to the heart of mother earth. I invite you to expand your consciousness to the very edges of your circle of empowerment, where your consciousness is now in communion with the mentorship of the Ascended Masters. And you may, if you've activated your golden dragon light body, you may feel your golden dragon light body scales just rippling in that column of light, rippling across your body and your major chakras. And it's from this sovereign, clear, divine space that we now turn to the Sophia Code to activate those key code one qualities that Isis so beautifully embodied within our own body, hearts, and minds today. So in the second half of the key code one initiation, we walk through the uh, Kabbalah tree of life within us. And so this is one of the steps that we are activating within us on page 87. And I know we worked on page 88 yesterday, but we're quantum and this is where I was guided to go next. So I call forth and welcome the presence of Isis to step a little closer to you now. So that as we read these words together out loud to affirm these truths this morning, to live the truth of these revelations, these ISIS revelations, we are also invoking and welcoming the healing energy of ISIS to bless you today and all day long. And that violet ray, violet flame radiance. Starting at the bottom of 87, as I am the tree of life, I honor the Sephira of Gebra, the strength and power breathing within me. Did you know strength and power are aspects of your divinity? They already, they already are yours. They're already virtues that exist inside of you. And so as we call forth these mantras, your strength and your power is going to come forward in your consciousness. And if that's something that feels intimidating, that's okay. However, 
I welcome you to bring your hand back to your heart. Take a deep breath in, and you can practice this first mantra. Yes, thank you. I accept, I receive. And that's a very simple mantra that you can apply to anything that you're ready to receive more of in your life. And if you're ready to receive more of your own strength and power, let's tap that into our hearts. Yes, thank you. I accept, I receive. So let's begin with this activation of strength and power. Whoa, little lion, my God. That was loud. <laughs> okay, that was real. Whew, in the summer heat. Okay. Sorry about that. She can be a little fierce sometimes. I honor the divinity of my humanity by consecrating the strength and power of my body as a holy temple for the mighty presence of my higher self to live entirely within me. That's a bold statement. Let's read that together. I honor the divinity of my humanity by consecrating the strength and power of my body as a holy temple for the mighty presence of my higher self to live entirely within me. Isn't that interesting? I think we are also, we're, we're often um, strength and power is villainized in our culture. And here the Sophia Code in Isis is sharing that your strength and your power consecrates your human body so that the mighty presence of your higher self can fully abide and operate within your daily embodiment. That's incredible. So today, let's bring our hands to our hearts. And I invite you to affirm, it is safe for me to embody the strength and power of my divinity. Just like that lioness Roo roar that we just heard. It is safe to embody the strength and power of my divinity. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's keep going with the next step. What's up, girl? Can you hang for just five more minutes? Let's see if we can get through one more. <laughs> I honor the divinity of my humanity by consecrating the strength and power of my mind to fulfill my higher self's destiny for this lifetime. I honor the divinity of my humanity by consecrating the strength and power of my mind to fulfill my higher self's destiny for this lifetime. You know, as a mentor, Isis is so exceptional for helping us to understand, to accept, to explore, and to remember the power of our mind, the strength and power of our mind. Often, either through trauma or societal programming, we use the strength and power of our minds against ourselves. We become a house divided. We often turn the strength and power of our minds. We avoid it. We disassociate from it. We don't take responsibility for it. But here in this very bold and simple statement, Isis is helping us declare that we actually honor our divinity, the very divinity of our humanity, by consecrating the strength and power of our minds to fulfill our higher selves destiny for this lifetime. So whenever you are feeling as though you're not on point with your divine purpose, or you're like, I don't know if I'm serving um, the way that I intended to when I came here in this lifetime, call upon Isis to help you remember that the strength and power of your mind can focus. It can focus it can achieve, 
it can become one self loving step at a time, like the strength and power of your mind can always identify your next step. You don't have to identify every step that you're going to, you're going to live serving others or fulfilling your destiny. All you have to do is identify that next step light workers. So in this moment, I'm really welcoming um, the presence of Isis's wings, because of course Isis is winged and I'm seeing her wings coming together with yours to give you a big embrace, a really big hug, um, honoring your willingness to consecrate your strength and your power of your mind to fulfilling your higher self's destiny in this lifetime. What's up, babe? Do you want to say hello? I highly doubt you want me to pick you up, but let's see what happens. No? You want to say hi? Do you miss being on screen? You want to say hello? It is Isis, and you love Isis. Yeah, she's purring. <laughs> Rue is 18 years old now. And if it weren't for Rue, we wouldn't have the Sophia code. She helped me focus on my strength and power when I was going through so much. I didn't know how I could actually focus to continue um, to continue on. So she really kept me honest with my divine purpose. She, she carries a lot of Isis energy. I mean, she's so Egyptian. Anyways, so <laughs> let's go on to the next one. She's purring now. It's so sweet. She's so happy. Um, just wanting some love, huh? <laughs> um, okay, the next one on page, the top of page 88. I honor the divinity of my humanity by consecrating the strength and power of my free will to fulfill the divine will of my oversoul. That's a big statement. It's a really helpful statement to know that you can honor the divinity of your humanity by consecrating the strength and power of your free will. Because your free will is, it's like a wild horse. It can do whatever it wants. But when you choose to use your strength and power to consecrate that free will energy to serving your oversoul, that's like when a wild horse becomes clear about its purpose knows how it can best co-create with its herd or other humans um, that the horse is connecting with. And then the horse's power gets put into a clear direction and the momentum starts to build. And that's what happens when Isis mentors us in how to consecrate the strength and power of our free will to fulfill the divine will of my oversoul, of your oversoul. It's a it's written in the first person. So one of the things, one of the tips that I'm hearing from ISIS today is when we feel as though our free will is overriding our strength and power to co-create our divine purpose, ISIS is saying, be curious today. Be curious and ask yourself, how can I be creative over complaining, how, how, if I am complaining, what am I afraid of? Do, do I feel as though I don't have the power to consecrate my free will towards my divine purpose today? And if you don't feel as though you have the power, are you willing to ask Isis and your higher self, of course, your direct connection to God for help to come back into that sovereign resonance that yes, indeed, you can consecrate your free will through, the, through strength and power and focus to whatever prayer that you are seeking to embody, the answered prayer in this lifetime. And that this honors your divinity. This honoring of your divinity, it's really important. Why is honoring your divinity so important through these actions? Honoring your divinity is really important because 
it unravels our addiction to shame. And I talk about how shame isn't even uh, an actual real human emotion. I share about this in the uh, Soul Power Journey curriculum on my website. Shame is a weapon that was created by the ego structure of humanity. And so honor, self-love, self-honor is literally unplugs us from our addiction to shaming ourselves for who we are. So when we read these affirmations in the Sophia Code out loud through the power of our voice, we are reaffirming the truth of, um, of who we really are the power, the strength, the light, the holiness, the sovereignty of our divinity, and no one and no thing can take away from us. Let's read the final statement. I honor the divinity of my humanity by consecrating the strength and power of my ability to command miracles to be in sovereign service for the highest good of all. What happens when you consecrate the strength and power of your ability to command miracles to be in the sovereign service for the highest good of all? My God, what a statement. You are inviting yourself to recognize that the power of God exists within you. And that when you consecrate this power to command miracles, which is a divine power within you, that Isis can mentor you, as well as white buffalo women in the Sophia Code, they mentor you and how to have a miracle mindset. Our team operates from a miracle mindset. The Sophia Code is a miracle mindset. There's nothing, literally nothing, that cannot be co-created through your sovereign divine relationship with your source, your mentorship with the Ascended Masters, and your angels and guides. Your ability to command miracles is precious because most people are living from a slave mindset. But you are here to activate and embody a sovereign mindset. And from a sovereign space within you, you can consecrate all of that strength and power of your divinity to be in the highest service and good for all. And part of our highest service and good for all is to command miracles, is to declare what is sacred. It is to declare um, the new paradigm and to build the new paradigm with our own two hands, with our loving hearts, one day at a time, one step at a time. And we do so when we affirm these consecrations and when we are willing to pray for one another, when we are willing to speak up for ourselves and one another, when we're willing to abide in a heart, an open heart of self-love, self-honor, sovereignty, and the divine light that you already are. And finally, we close this particular part of the Kiko Gwen initiation with this affirmation. Isis guides us to say, I affirm this truth independent of any passing understanding. I'll never forget when she asked me to write that for the first initiation. I affirm this truth independent of any passing understanding. Why is that important? It's important because your localized human awareness is going to have different perspectives. It's going to be tuned into different planes of reality. It's going, some days it'll be more emotional. Other days it'll be more uh, thought process oriented, linear, mental. There's going to be other days where you just focus primarily on the physical. These are all passing phenomena of your daily human experience, but your higher self sovereign divine perspective is eternal, it's infinite, and it's everywhere, it's omniscient simultaneously. It's never going to change, it's always going to tell you the truth. That's what we're always, that's what everyone's running from all of the time is the absolute clarity of your divine consciousness, which is always within you. And that's why this affirmation is so powerful. I affirm 
this truth, all of these truths that we just spoke, I honor the divinity of my humanity by consecrating the strength and power of my mind to fulfill my higher self's destiny for this lifetime. I honor the divinity of my humanity by consecrating the strength and power of my free will to fulfill the divine will of my oversoul. I honor the divinity of my humanity by consecrating the strength and power of my ability to command miracles, to be in sovereign service for the highest good of all. I affirm this truth independent of any passing understanding you might think you understand what that means but two weeks from now you might get a whole nother in-depth uh, wisdom teaching arising from your body heart and mind it's like oh that's what sovereignty really means oh that's what my divinity is really up to oh this is a whole new definition of strength and power that i didn't even know i had the capacity to embody so what we're saying is these words are true whether we understand them or not regardless of our perception of them which can change can grow can digress can contract can expand we're saying these are sovereign truths of my divinity. And when I declare that, when you declare that, oh, the power of that ringing through every cell of your body, what you're saying is I am affirming the operating system of my divinity, no matter what is happening in my human experience. I can trust, the, I can trust that my divinity is always the same. It's always perfect. It's always whole. It's always complete. It's always up to something miraculous in my human experience, whether I'm having a crappy day or a marvelous day, my soul is having an amazing day. Okay. And so this affirmation is I am the perfect human vessel for the strength of my sovereign power to consecrate a new golden age. I am that. Oh, this nice breeze just started picking up. Let's, re let's read that three times together. I am the perfect human vessel for the strength of my sovereign power to consecrate a new golden age. I am that. I am the perfect human vessel I am the perfect human vessel for the strength of my sovereign power to consecrate a new golden age. I am that. We can tap on the last one on the top of our crown. I am the, I'm just tapping right here on the top of my head. I am the perfect human vessel for the strength of my sovereign power to consecrate a new golden age. I am that. Isn't it interesting? that the vulnerability of your humanity is the ultimate vessel for the strength of your sovereign power. You know, this is, this is in part particularly true, you know, when we are feeling as though maybe if you have a physical injury or just, wow. hey, okay, kitties are not getting along. I'm going to close this transmission now so i can go handle that situation <laughs> kitty power okay so thanks for spending the time today connecting with isis's teachings in the sophia code thank you for choosing to affirm the strength and power of your higher self and your divine embodiment <laughs> and thanks for being together today for the KR Daily Transmission. It's so nice to reconnect with you. Uh, feel free to like this video. Um, you can share any well wishes for Sathira and Rue, who still seem, haven't seemed to find their way to one another's hearts yet, <laughs> which would be amazing if they could get along. But sometimes tigers and lions have different perspectives. Um, and thank you for allowing Isis to mentor you today and to guide you today and to support you in recognizing just how strong and powerful you really are. This, these are virtues that are a part of you. Um, they, you can never be separated from them. And when we stand in our circle of sovereignty, that's the inner space that we can really access these virtues and step outside of um, 
you know, any ways that we're not in our creatorhood. So God bless you. Sophia, blessings. Have a wonderful day or evening wherever you are in the world. Thanks for liking this video. Thanks for subscribing to my channel. And thank you for sharing your comments in the video replay. I love to read your feedback. I love to know how, what's real for you with your mentors, with the Sophia Code. Um, have a beautiful day, everyone. Namaste. <laughs>